Hey guys, it's Lutzo with EXP Realty here in the Greater Toronto Area and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be going over the extremely important topic of how to protect ourselves as female real estate agents. I truly believe that this is something we need to normalize um, and talk about a little bit more often than, um, than it is. I'm seeing, you know, some incredible ladies speak up um, and give their own tips, which is really incredible to see. Um, so that's why I wanted to make this video um, just based off of personal experiences and uh, real tips that I still use till this day and um, hopefully it can help um, some of you out there and uh, you know the main important thing is that um, that we can work safely right and we can work to our full potential um, and not be in harm in, in, in any way. Now before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe and like, and let's get on with the first tip. So number one would be screen people, okay? So this is really important, especially if you're getting a cold call, a cold lead, whether it's through your social media, your website or whatever. If it's someone that you don't know, you want to screen them, you want to ask them, you know, specific questions as to what they're looking for and really gauge um, their answer. See if they're stuttering, um, AKA making things up on the spot. Look them up on social media. You know, you can even try to look them up on Geo Warehouse um, to see if maybe you can find what they're looking for and if what they're saying really matches um, you know their response and their story. This is really important because if you can find them on social media it helps put um, you know a face to the person that you could potentially be working with or seeing and yeah it helps give you a little bit more um, background of them and potentially helps you either feel more comfortable or um, you know kind of gives you a heads up into you know kind of realizing you know what maybe i i don't want to work with this person which kind of brings me to number two is try to work with referrals um personally my business um stems from referrals which uh i truly do love and i'm so grateful for and it does it does really help because you know that the person that you're working with is friends or family or you know co-workers with um somebody else that you already know or have um, worked with in the past. So think of it this way as well. If you were looking for a referral, whether you know it be a lawyer, whether it be an accountant, a hairstylist, whatever type of referral you're looking for, as soon as you go and meet this referral, there's already you know um, a sense of trust, a sense of comfort there, um, a feeling of comfort because you know this person was referred to you by someone that you trusted, and so vice versa, it'll be the same thing. The third tip I would give is to try not to. Do or knock. Um, so I understand, you know, especially for female agents that are maybe just starting off that don't have that big of a database, you know, don't have um, a huge sphere of influence or whatever it may be, it can be tough to um, to grow, right? So oftentimes and many offices and, and, and brokerages do push uh, door knocking and this is where you go around the neighborhood and you door knock on doors for you know a listing that was just put up for sale or a listing that just sold um, etc so when I first started I did I door knocked for three months on and off okay and the only reason I really stopped was because of you know specific experiences that I would have and so you know you have to be very careful and you have to really trust your your intuition when you're doing it if you do want a door knock i would say definitely avoid it at night go during you know the day to maybe like two three o'clock uh do it where maybe there's high you know there's high traffic around um, maybe like in toronto where you see a lot of people walking around um you can also 
if you are planning to do it, I would also, you know, text someone that's close to you, whether it's a friend, family member, your significant other, your, um, you know, your, your parents, and let them know that you're going to be doing this. Um, as well as, you know, if you do get into a situation where, you know, someone may be inviting you inside to take a look and you don't feel, uh, you know, 100% comfortable, then, you know, say that you can set up a different time, you can take down their information, which you can give them a call later and screen them, but you can say that, you know what, I've got a meeting to run to, I've got an appointment to go to, let me take down your contact information and we can and we can chat from there, okay? This is if you're, you know, of course, if you're feeling uncomfortable um, and you do wanna get up and you do want to, you know, leave the situation or think about it a little bit more and have time to properly screen them. Now, again, I do know many successful female agents that thrive on door knocking. So I'm not saying do or do any of these tips or follow them. I'm just saying that in my experience, these are the tips that I now uh, practice and I use every single day. And I truly do believe that it will help um, some of the other female agents out there. Okay, so this kind of ties into number four, which is let somebody know where you are. So for example, again, if you're, you know, planning to do a showing for the first time to someone that you haven't met um, and you're nervous because you haven't met them, um, it's always best to have someone on standby. Obviously give them, you know, some notice that, hey, between five and six, I'm gonna be showing this person, um, you know, a condo here. Like if I don't check in with you or don't text you by, you know, 5.15, 5.30, just give me a call. This is also important for things like open houses. Um, if you're showing a condo, sometimes what I do is I give a heads up to the concierge um, and just let them know that this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm meeting somebody new. But again, it's always best to have you know, someone that you know, just on the side, ready to, you know, text you in 15, 20 minutes, or give you a call. So have that system in place. You can choose obviously multiple um, different people. And as you, you know, move forward in the business, I think you'll get a better sense of, you know, where something could happen or where someone's intentions are, you know, are completely opposite of actually looking for a home or selling a home or anything of the sort. If you're doing an open house and, uh, you know, typically those last anywhere from two to three hours, if you, you know, get there earlier or if you're in the house alone, lock all the doors, okay? Um, this is what I do anyway, I don't, you know, I let people ring the doorbell. I don't just let them um, kind of walk through the door. I know some agents do it completely different um, just for me and even at showings too. If I get there earlier before my clients, I lock the door, you know, obviously I check out the house um, and then when they get here, I, I'm pretty much by the door anyway, just waiting for them. Um, but when they get here, I'll, I'll unlock the door and, um, and then, you know, let the showing begin. The last tip and probably the most important one is trust your intuition. Intuition is knowing something without knowing how you know, meaning sometimes all the facts aren't present, but you get this feeling in the pit of your stomach. And us women, like our intuition is seriously um, dead on accurate most of the time. So, you know, if, you're, if your gut is telling you something uh, when, you, when you get a cold call or um, if you feel like a situation situation isn't right, um, please trust it, okay? Sometimes, like, that's, that's, that's all the time that you have, okay? If they're, you know, saying certain things to you that are kind of um, giving you the wrong impression, no commission check is ever going to be worth it. And I can probably guarantee that 99% of the time, you know what, I'm just gonna say 100% of of the time, they're not even seriously, you know, looking for a property or, or, or anything of the sort. So just be very, very careful um, and definitely trust your intuition. There's tons and tons of clients out there and you do not need to be, you know, wasting your time trying to figure out this, this one person or trying to justify, you know, um, a person's action. So those would be my tips on how to protect yourself as a female real estate agent. Again, um, you know, personally I've experienced things. I know other female agents that have experienced things and 
most of these, you know, happened to me when I was a newer agent. And so I really hope that this video can help um, whether you're a new female agent or, or not, um, you know, I hope this video can help um, real estate agents out there that uh, have experienced something that made them feel uncomfortable or um, can prevent that from happening in the future. So again, these are tips that I practice uh, till this day right now. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.